Ok, it's the 5th of February, um, this morning I got up at about 6 in the morning, I was like getting up every hour, sort of checking where we're going and we're going ok, and once yesterday the self steering kicked out like the thing released and I had to lean over the back, pull it forward and lock it back in, like it's a safety thing when it hits something it, it flicks back out, and I got up this morning at about 6, we were rocking around a bit and I checked it, and the thing was kicked up like that, like a safety thing, and it was twisted, and the whole block that it sits in, this cast iron thing or whatever it was, was sheared away and broken in half, so that's pretty much, it was stuffed, and the paddle was hanging out the back just flicking, and we're, we were just drifting to out. And um, so it was at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, what are we going to do? It's um, 380 miles from New Zealand, 835 miles from home. Um, it's blowing easterly for the next three days, which is windward to New Zealand, so I can't go back to New Zealand because it's gonna, uh, I just would not get there. So it's pretty much run for home, 835 miles, which you do 100 miles a day with self steering, but without that, you do half it, so probably 50 miles a day, which is gonna be 16 days to get back to Aussie. And all day, like the wind's been increasing, it's got up to like 35 and it was gusting 40 knots and I was been steering for probably 8 hours, done maybe 50 miles and a couple of times like the cockpit filled with water and I'd have to sit there with the bucket and get it out and um, I can't steer so I've got no, nothing to steer with so now I've just let out like a little bit of the jib, sheeted it in tight and hopefully that's going to keep our tail to the wind and just keep us going downwind, which it seems to. We're still tracking like 289 degrees, which we need 270 and head straight west. And we're still doing four knots just like that, or five knots like that. So hopefully that gets us there. But um, like everything else is good. I was thinking, what's wrong? All we don't have is steering. We've got, I started the motor today and ran it for 20 minutes, even though I didn't really like it because we're rolling around heaps. But motor's going good, full of water. Still got power, GPS is going. Sat phone's going, I called Russell Radio a couple of times and the girl was like, oh, what are you going to do by yourself, huh? Like, yeah. Um, and, yeah, I've got food, water, everything else. The wind's still in a good direction, luckily it's not coming the other way, so hopefully it stays this way and we can run with it for a bit. But, let's see. I'll wipe that bar in there just in case those windows get blown in because I don't want any water coming in here. Um, yeah, it's damp and musty in here. I haven't eaten much all day. I don't feel like eating, but I'm going to have something now. Um, that's about it. I'm getting a sore hand from steering. But, either way, like, I'm going to... We're going to get there. I'm not going to give in. Like, I've got... I don't care if it takes me freaking three weeks. I'm going to get this boat home. Chip away at it one day at a time. But if aim for 50 miles a day, that's 16 days at 50 miles, which is doable. Um, especially with a good wind like that, just get up, knuckle down for the day, and steer it. And yeah, take it one day at a time. Like this, if we're drifting like this, we're still on three knots, so in the right direction. So overnight, we might do an extra 30 miles, which will cut it down a bit. So yeah. tomorrow's my birthday. Thank you. Anyway. See how we go. I'm trying to find my other dry bag so I can whack the camera in it so it doesn't get wet. And um, I'm going to whack a bit of stuff in the backpack or something as in like an emergency grab bag, just like flares and water and food and that sort of gear. But I'm not going to need it because this boat's going to get us there, so I'm going to look after it and just keep chipping away at it.